Hi. Okay, now since I have received two negative points uh, for my comments, uh, for the two comments I made, one negative point for each, uh, and because I did not receive any, any reasons, any uh, reasonable arguments as for why that comment is a poor comment, I see myself forced to uh, reply to the video and uh, to uh, state why my comments are valid and uh, make a good point in uh, this uh, video response to uh, uh, Vilyana Ramakandran's talk. Uh, and I would like to expound in this uh, video response the uh, fatal mistake or flaw that uh, Vilyana uh, made in his analysis of synesthesia, um, which uh, focuses or which is concerned with uh, or which which is which is concerned on the on the point on the part of the his talk where he is, is talking about uh, metaphors and uh, similes so uh, I give you the I give you the, the relevant part of it again sound of course okay now what if the scene is expressed everywhere in the brain so everything is cross-connected. Well, think about what artists, novelists, and poets have in common. The, the, the ability to engage in metaphorical thinking, linking seemingly unrelated ideas, such as it is the yeast and Juliet is the sun. But you don't say Juliet is the sun, does that mean she's a glowing ball of fire? I mean, schizophrenics do that, but it's a different story, right? Normal people say she's warm like the sun, she's radiant like the sun, she's nurturing like the sun, instantly you form the links. Now, if you assume that there's greater cross-wiring and concepts are also in different parts of the brain, then it's going to create a greater propensity towards metaphorical thinking and creativity in people with synesthesia. And hence, the eight times more common incidence of synesthesia among poets, artists, and novelists. Okay, it's a very phrenological view of synesthesia. The last... Yeah. Just to clarify my... Well, my general ideological position. I am a naturalist, right? Well, this phrenology is okay here. No one, no one is gonna is gonna be sent to prison for for entertaining. Well, the view that numbers have a color, uh, so I can live with. I can perfectly live with that. I can also live with the fact that uh, people who who, visu who who see numbers as colored are not normal people. Of course, that's a pathological case, but. Uh, not uh, not well not uh, patho it's an abnormal case but not pathological in the sense that people really suffer from it and have to be cured cured of it uh, but uh, still well uh, the the basic flaw in that analysis is and i'm pretty sure pretty sure that this will also turn out to to well to be to be wrong in an in an in an explorative uh, uh, in an explorative uh, uh, neurophysiological analysis uh, in in testing how people uh, react to metaphors to similes and uh, how uh, peop and how uh, well in how uh, it's about the experiment well uh, imagine an experiment where uh, poets and these metaphorically thinking people are pitted against normal people uh, then you will w test uh, what what goes on when uh, uh, poets are producing metaphors, when poets are producing similes, and you will also also have to check what goes in on in normal people uh, when they well talk not when and not use metaphors or not use similes, or what goes on in both of them when hearing or when when being confronted with with a text or with 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 sentences where you have metaphor metaphorical uh, 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 um, uh, expressions or where you have uh, have um, formulations of, of similes and what I would predict is that the same thing will go on, will go on uh, in the case where people are confronted with or are producing similes the same thing as as when they are producing or hearing me metaphors so the reactions or what goes on the pr processes while that go on while producing these things uh, will be the same for similes uh, and or, or will, will be about the same maybe there will be some gradual difference but they will be about the same for the for these two items for similes and metaphors and this is because I think I'm strongly convinced 
uh, and I take that from, from philosopher Nelson Goodman's work, uh, I'm strongly convinced that the basic entity is the metaphor and not the simile. It, uh, there, is a, there is a common view that a, a metaphor is nothing but a simile without like. Uh, but uh, this view is probably wrong and it's exactly the, the in a way the opposite, uh, namely that uh, uh, a metaphor is not a simile without like, but uh, a simile is actually a metaphor with like. Well, why is that so? This is the case uh, bec because uh, uh, if you try to explicate that, if you want to make expli explicit in what respects uh, Juliet resembles uh, the sun, then your explication will again use metaphors because it is quite plain that Juliet does, does not radiate just like the sun does, so Juliet does not really share that property with the sun. There is no common property uh, in a literal sense between uh, Juliet and the sun. Juliet is certainly not warm like the sun, does not warm like the sun, does not radiate like the sun, certainly not. Juliet does, for example, does not uh, emit uh, ultraviolet uh, uh, light, ultraviolet rays, uh, light, light waves, uh, but and and Juliet does not and Juliet does not nurture like the sun does. Well, the sun, yes, the sun in a way nurtures the earth. Juliet may nurture her children or her family, but in a way quite different from the way that uh, uh, the sun nurtures uh, the earth. And uh, Juliet does also not warm uh, Romeo like the sun does. Juliet has a temperature of about 37 well degrees Celsius uh, and the sun is a lot warmer and Juliet when J Romeo says that Juliet warms him then he does not really mean that Ju Juliet warms him in the literal sense that uh, uh, in which the sun warms him so in fact uh, it it should be cl quite clear that uh, metaphor uh, does not reduce to simile but that simile reduces to metaphor and so the same thing that go on when a poet, when a cross-wired poet, when where everything, every the the, the normal links are, are trimmed down and there is, there is cross cross wiring. Uh, the, the, this cross wiring will be that which will bring about both similes, both the use of similes, and the use of metaphors. And so normal people will uh, who who don't have these these shortcut cross wirings that synesthetics or this, uh, that, uh, that poets and novelists have, uh, they, will, uh, they will have, uh, or, or the processes that, that go on in their brain when they try to understand, uh, slowly understand metaphors or similes, these processes will be the same for both. So uh, I think I made myself clear and said why these comments are valid. <laughs>